Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm always glad to see you. And if you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for hanging out. Today is a pregnancy update, I guess. I don't really have like a lot to say. Uh, I know when he's gonna be here. I know that he's a he. I know that he's looking good, but we'll talk more about that in a little bit. But it's gonna be a pregnancy update. I am, uh, I don't know. It's 35 or 36 weeks. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. One of those two. I'll figure it out for you. <clears throat> but I have a pile. I have lots of piles. I will show you said piles around me that I need to get clean and organized and ready for this little man to make his debut. Oh, you can even see some of the piles over there. It's kind of a hot mess. We're just gonna take a little chunk of time today and uh, make it a little less hot and messy. So let's dive into this, shall we? All right, friends, this is what Nick brought up for me. I have to attack this pile of baby stuff to see what we need for Mr. Lucas. Oh boy, he gets the easy job just bringing it up. All right, so I just cleared off a shelf that's going to be all of the baby supplies. This is right outside my bedroom. I have a big tote here of stuff that I have just collected or already sorted through that I need to go through. I have, so hopefully I'm not making anyone sick, I have a load of baby stuff in the washer just getting it all nice and scrub it up dubbed for him when he gets here in my poor poor living room guys oh my lord my living room my living room's a mess from all the sorting i have to clean all of those things so i'm trying to make piles of uh what still needs to get cleaned and sorted. All right, friends, I know you saw this pile in the living room and that was the last clip you saw. This is the stuff I still need to like really sort through and clean. It all needs to be clean except for the fabric stuff, but honestly, it should go through again since it sat on the stuff for so long. That pile, when Nick brought it all up for me, it was like a month ago, life happened. So this needs to be uh, priority number one so I'm gonna start sorting through this today I already washed all the fabric stuff over here so all of this is clean so I just want to kind of get everything else clean so that we can put it where it is going to live because Mr. Lucas is gonna make his grand arrival here very very soon and then this shelf here there's a lot of like small stuff that we need to go through. There's some like hard toys that need to get cleaned. I wanna bring the formula and the bottles, the spin into the kitchen so that this can be overstock for um, diapers since we have Amelia and diapers and then wipes and all that kind of stuff. Um, I have a big box of size one for Lucas already. This, that's just detergent that we have a backup of wipes. So I just kind of want to make sure that this spot is ready for all of the backup stuff that we're going to need for the babies, the kiddos. And then Amelia's dresser is going to need to go into her room and the changing table is going to need to come out here. Hopefully that's something we can get done today. So my first plan of attack, if you will, is I want to build, which is just snapping the legs back on his bassinet and wipe it all down because it's been in storage for almost two years, a year and a half, whatever, a long time. So it needs a little wipey wipe. I have my cleaner. I have paper towels here. Um, it's an all natural cleaner, so you don't need to worry about anything for him. We're also doing this like at least a month before he's going to be touching any of this stuff, but it is an all natural cleaner. So he will be all set, nice and safe, um, 
I know I had mentioned that when Nick brought up all of that stuff, it was like a month ago. It took me a while to uh, not be overwhelmed by the piles to start to dive into this but our car seat we did scrub up everything that could come off of it went through the wash everything that couldn't we scrubbed up disinfected and it's actually in our in our in the van so that's ready to go for when he gets here but for today i want to start on our uh bassinet All right, so the bassinet is all nice and wiped down. I accidentally just resprayed it with some cleaner, so it's clean, but I'm gonna go through, wipe down like all of the hard toys, stuff that you can't send through the wash machine. Um, and I learned my lesson with Amelia because I ruined a bunch of her toys at one point by soaking them in uh, cleaner because a lot of like the rattles are not waterproof. So I'm just going to wipe them down, get them as clean as I can. Again, they were cleaned before they went into a tote and they're going to be cleaned beforehand. So they'll be okay. So as I'm doing this, I figured this would be a great opportunity to uh, catch you guys up on the pregnancy. It is going well. Uh, you know, regular pregnancy, uh, ouchies at this point I looked it up in 35 weeks I'm feeling I'm feeling like I've been pregnant for eight years at this point and I don't know if that was uh because this is my second baby or if that's pretty regular because I can't I cannot remember when I started feeling so huge with Amelia but I'm feeling it now with Lucas little man is uh, looking to be pretty big, pretty big. He, we had an ultrasound two weeks ago and they did the, their best guess of uh, how big he's going to be, or not how big he's going to be, how big he is now. And he's already at six and a half pounds and we still have, uh, well, I have four more weeks because I'm having a scheduled C-section. I don't know when the date is going to be, but they're going to do it the week before I'm due. Just so hopefully there's no surprise and uh, a baby comes early. Um, just because I can't get him out. I have some medical stuff where I would not be able to have a baby unless it was a C-section. So, he's scheduled C-section. He is going to be here at 39 weeks at some point in there and uh he's looking big he's looking real big if he keeps growing this fast he's probably going to be significantly bigger than his sister which is okay big babies are cute babies um and really that's all i have he's gonna be a c-section he's big I love his pictures. He's looking like a cutie patootie in there. Um, but it's been a pretty regular pregnancy. Like I said, some ouchies here and there because pregnancy is not fun. But overall, it hasn't been bad. I'm hitting the point where I am hungry and tired all the time. But... To be expected this late in the game. If you had multiples, which kid was harder? What pregnancy was harder? I mean, like, did you have a harder time with the first? Because you didn't know what you were getting into. Or the second. Or three, four, five. Because I've heard that the more pregnancies you have, the faster you show the symptoms show up faster 
all that uh, fun stuff, which I would agree. I feel like I showed sooner than I did with Amelia. So let me know in the comments. The next couple things that I'm going to show you are going to be me. Uh, not me. I'm going to be showing you the ultrasound pictures. So, because there's a couple really cute ones. He has his little hand up in a peace sign in one of them. So, I'll throw in a few ultrasound photos for you now. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. Good job. Away, 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 away. Gotta be nice and gentle, right? Yeah. Okay, show mama. Mama! And here is the progress of uh, where I'm going to store their baby stuff. So I have his bottles, I have her bibs until we need to start cleaning bo bottles. These are just gonna hang out here. And then her cups. And then I got new plates for her, which I'm pretty excited about. She seems to really like them. So this is kind of like the baby section of this area. And then over here on top of our freezer, is going to be his bath time stuff so it's towels and then this flower is one of those soft bath um sink bath tubs i need to still get him some shampoo and that will just get put in here some just sensitive baby shampoo um i have our small ish stock of uh formula in here underneath the coffee pot these couple items need to get put away still but that is where those are ignore the messy kitchen hopefully i'm not making anyone sick and then over here just because it was the best spot for it to stay organized is the burp cloths and the bibs for little lucas and in the living room in this little corner next to our window we have all of the stuff kind of staged for lack of a better word that will be his toys or his seat his play mat i have a big or have a blanket out here to lay out when he is in his pack and play or play yard whatever we want to call this um the mickey chair will most likely live in the kitchen dining room on the table probably most likely he could be on the floor for a little bit it depends on the uh, miss amelia and then we have toys all cleaned behind it if if I can show you without tripping. Toys, all nice and clean. So, this is just kind of staged. This obviously won't stay like this while it's in use. But, I just wanted to have it out so Amelia could get used to this not being her space. And her to see all of these toys and colors. And it to not be for her. So, this is staged, ready to go. All right, and then another staged area until he gets closer. I have his swing all clean, all fresh batteries over there. I have a his real bassinet that will be next to the bed when he gets here. A couple boppies, one to keep in the living room, one to keep in the bedroom. His carrying case for once my stomach heals up enough to use it because I love using my... Uh, carrying uh i think i have the ergo baby i don't know what i'm trying to say but the baby carrier i love having that um so that's the only things that are in his bassinet that's it i have fresh clean sheets everything's been sanitized everything's gone through the wash and then that little thing behind it is a smaller bassinet in case there's just a night where he is just not sleeping and that will live in the living room when we get closer so I can just get unfolded real quick and we can hang out out there or one of us can to keep him away from whichever parent is going to be sleeping and away from Amelia because right through that wall is where Amelia's crib is. So 
just to have a backup plan, one for the living room and one for our bedroom. We were gifted all of these things. I didn't buy any of that, so I just figured we would keep what we needed until he uh, shows us what he likes and what he doesn't like, and then we'll get rid of it then. But it's better to have too many options than not enough with a newborn. And this is the shelf where we had all of the stuff that we were working from at the beginning of this. This is going to be the overstock. I have one box of size ones. We've got a box of wipes, which will definitely fit where it belongs in here. Uh, laundry pods. Newborn diapers are up here. I need to get Amelia some more diapers. Need to get toilet paper, paper towels. All of those paper stuff are going to stay and live here. But <laughs> this is what it's looking like. It's just diapers, good. wipes, and laundry soap. <laughs> good. Yeah, it looks good? Yeah. Oh, thanks, baby. But that's what's going to be right here. Amelia, are you excited for baby Lucas to be here? Yeah. Yeah. Did you help Mama set up baby Lucas's stuff? Yes. Did you help Mama? Yeah, please. Yeah, you did. You helped Mama with the swings and the mat and the toys? No, uh, not right now. Thanks, though. Do you want to say bye-bye to our friends? Bye-bye. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> Well, little Miss Helper here was super helpful. Yeah. She was super helpful. She helped uh, with all of the toys and the seats and putting the toys in the pack and play. She had her babies test them out before the baby came. Okay. She was super helpful. Okay. Uh, now we just need to keep our fingers out of it. So, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Obviously, everything that I showed you is subject to change when he gets here. We have to find what works for our family of four. This is just what worked well for us with Amelia. So, if it doesn't work well with Lucas, we will change stuff. But as of right now, I'm feeling very comfortable with what we have accomplished. I still need to go to... Um, bj's and kind of do like a stock up haul just so we're prepared with all of our paper stuff because we don't have like a stock of like anything i only have like a couple rolls of toilet paper a couple rolls of paper towels and i don't want to have to go to the store i don't want to have to go to bj's with a newborn so we're gonna do that and we need to get him some baby shampoo. And there's going to be a couple kits, if I you may. Or whatever. And I'm going to make a couple kits. And I want to have one be his overnight kit. So like diapers, wipes, little bottles, all of those kind of things. So that while I'm out here with him, he can uh, have everything he needs close by so I can keep resting. And then I'm going to have a mama kit for myself with all of the postpartum stuff that I need. But that'll be Mommy another video. Dog, I'll show you guys that later because my little bye, princess here bye, wants bye. to play. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye, friends. Bye.